I think most people are very f afraid. Pe most people are very, very afraid, and they're afraid of losing the control of their own lives, and they're afraid of becoming dependent, and they're afraid of becoming a burden. And much of their fears are really a, a, from having seen people they know in a health and social care system that doesn't know how to care for people with dementia. Ronan, okay. Yeah, yeah. My mother was from Swanland Bar. Swanland Bar, oh. Do you know Swanland Bar? No, no, we're not there. On the border, nearly with Enniskillen. Enniskillen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you liken it to people with lung disease, we would never smoke in front of somebody with oxygen mask, would we? But we do lots of things around people with dementia that aggravate and exacerbate the challenges they're already facing. So we talk too quickly, we move too quickly, we give too many commands, we, we add to a person's sense of confusion. There are lots of approaches to communicating that can help the person process information if we talk more slowly, for example. So dementia isn't just a problem of memory, it's m in many ways a problem of processing information. So we have to adjust to support a person with slower processing speed. So the first part of the research will involve talking to nursing home staff, the nurses, the care staff, the families of people with dementia, some of the residents, to say, how do you think we could solve this problem? Here's what the literature has told us. What do you think of that, those ideas? And we will develop a consensus with those key stakeholders as to what they think we should, might give us our best attempt at making a difference. And then we will work with a, what's called a trials unit to design a very robust study to test that consensually designed intervention. So any shift in the location or level of care needed, these studentships will be focusing on, on those. And the ones that we're particularly interested in are ones from care home to hospital, hospital to home, home to hospital, where people often fall between the cracks and the condition that they go for healthcare for becomes exacerbated by the lack of integration and joined up thinking between hospital and home. So in the School of Dementia Studies we do a lot of research and make a major contribution to the evidence about how to care for people with dementia, but we're not really content with that. We like to know that the information we're learning is translated into practice.